Here's another video about how to mobilize the fingers, hands, and wrists. You can use this video as a way to prepare for more movement, so movement preparation, or you can use this video as a way to correct a problem in your fingers, hands, or wrists. In this video, we will be working primarily in this low kneeling position. So if you cannot achieve this low kneel on the floor, this video may not be for you. You can find some of our other hand stretching videos and work along with those. But if you can come into this position, work along with me. This is low risk, so you can watch the video and work along. So we start in this low kneeling position. You'll notice my feet are plantar flexed, so the tops of my feet are on the ground. My knees are close together. And we just get into this position where it's as if we have come to a resting, uh, a place of rest after doing maybe some more aggressive play. So first our fingers are pointed forward and my thumbs are somewhat tacked under my, my legs. This isn't too difficult for most people. My hands are about the level of my knees, so they're not back here near my hips, although that might be an interesting thing to play with. In this video, we're going to have our fingers and hands close to our knees. So it's almost like we're leaning forward to look at something on the ground, but also resting. So the thumbs are under the legs, and then we just start to rock back and forth here. And there won't be a lot of sensation with this first part. We're just warming our hands up. You might get more stretch out of the thumb, uh, the muscles that, that insert on the thumb more than anything else. So just a few back and forth movements here. Then the next part is to bring your, your fingers pointing backwards. So this time I want you to really get your hands or your arms close to your thighs. So it's almost like you're hugging your thighs with your arms. Now that's some extension in the wrists. But now let's add this back and forth movement. And when you move back and forth, really lean your thighs into your forearms as much as you can handle. I mean, this is a lot of sensation, so work within your pain tolerance. So we're just moving one way, leaning in, stretching, and then the other way. Not a difficult movement necessarily, but it can uh, reveal a lot of a lack of pliability in your wrists. Okay, so that's the second part. And the third and final part is to place your hands on the ground with your fingers pointed outward. Now really get your arms close to your thighs and then you roll your thighs back and forth as if they're logs and their logs are rolling one way and then the logs roll the other way with strong pressure on your forearms. And I cannot emphasize enough, your fingers need to be very wide to get the full benefit of this stretch. So my fingers are very separated on the ground right now. And just repeat that a few times. And then rest your hands. And that's how to prepare for more aggressive movement in the hands, uh, wrists, and fingers. Enjoy that.